In this video, I will show you guys how to use Proteus software to simulate different kinds of circuits. Proteus is really an awesome platform to test different kinds of circuits virtually. I am here, uh, I am here using the 8.5 professional version. So let's start. At the first, we need to open a new project. You can press this uh, button or go to file and create a new project. File, new project. It will take some time to load. It's taking a while to load. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, here you can see there is a project name and a project path to you for you to select. So I will keep this, keep them as default and press next. Uh, there is already a existing project, so I will re just replace it. So we don't need a symmetric diagram, I will keep this as default. Then we don't need to create a PCB layout, I will also keep this, don't, uh, don't create a PCB layout and press next. At the last, uh, no need uh, for a framework project, next. So at the end, I will just press finish. Here you can see a plain board where we will design our circuit. For example, we will create a simple function which is f equal to a and b. So for this, we need a AND gate and a two inputs and an output. Here on the left, you can see a button P where you can select different kinds of devices. So let's press it. Here you can see uh, there are, are a bunch of devices to select. So for this, we will uh, select an AND gate. So we will select the and get we will select the seven uh, seven four versions uh, there are several kinds of end gates i will select this one uh, seven four zero eight uh, okay then we will need uh, some input uh, we will use the logic toggle as inputs logic toggle we will need two inputs so one logic token and an output to show so we will use the logic toggle logic of big one for our function f equal to a and b we will need an and gate we'll, we are placing the and gate uh, i will just zoom the view so that you can see well uh, then we need uh, two logic toggle for inputs a and b i will just rename them as a and b a b uh, then for the output, we will use a logic code. I will rename the output as F. So you can connect the wire by like clicking on the end of A gate and dragging the whole thing. You don't need to drag it. You just press the other end to the input of the end. So this is one way to connect the wires. But I will prefer a different way. That is, you just make a wire. And rename those wires. Like I'll rename, like place a wire level here as B input. Copy this, and again I'll just rename this wire particle, place wire level B input. For the output, I'll just create another wire, and for same. I'll just rename those wires F, F output again, F output. So uh, let's sim start the simulation. Here you can see a play button. When we uh, play this simulation, you can see the um, simulation has been started. So uh, we know, and for end gate, we will have to have two one to get an output so we'll just make sure the two ones you can see uh, i didn't connect the wire the, uh, the previous way but uh, by leveling it the connection is still working so i will prefer you guys to use the leveling uh, version as uh, when you do a large project there will be a serious problem uh, keeping track with the wires which wire connects wire so this is all for today uh, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and thank you.